I'm Darius McDermott from Fund Calibre. Today, I'm with Chris Kinder, who's going to give us a guide and an introduction to what shorting a stock is, or short selling. Chris, what is shorting? Shorting is the process by which um, we can make money from our negative view on shares. And by that, you, these are shares where you actually expect the share price to go down. Exactly, yeah. yeah. We've done the work, we've identified a share that is potentially overvalued, and we can monetize that work via the process of the share falling. And how does that work in practice? Yeah, in practice, it's really simple, actually. So just imagine the idea that you have a share that I've done the work on, and I feel that share may fall in value, and I want to benefit from that. So I borrow that share from you. Yep. I sell it in the market to generate cash, and I owe you a share. As that share price falls, I can then buy back that share, making a profit relative to the price at which I sold it, and then I give you back that share. So you, you've basically had a share that's fallen in value, and I've monetized the difference um, in the fall. Can you give us a past example of, of, of a share that you've shorted and, and how that worked in practice? Yes, of course, yes. So um, a, an example from last year would be a company called Metrobank, um, which was, as we all know, is a challenger bank that had quite an unusual business model. We did the work suggesting that um, the valuation of the bank at the time um, was elevated, perhaps not reflecting many of the risks that the bank was facing at that time in terms of its regulatory capital position, its business model, and just perhaps the, the underlying risk in the economy. And we felt that share was materially overvalued on that basis. And then as it unwound, we were able to borrow that share, sell it, and then covered it as after it had fallen, um, in this case, a reasonably significant percentage. Well, what are the benefits of being able to short a share? Yeah, I mean, first of all, it, it does offer an absolute return opportunity when markets are elevated. And if markets are, are sort of going nowhere, you, it is still possible to make money via identifying shares that fall. And it also offers the ability to perhaps reduce risk in portfolios. And that's probably one of the benefits that is less well understood, that you can sort of perhaps take hedge positions where it allows you to own something and offset that risk with something slightly less good than it. But like all these things, they, there is risks. What are the actual risks of shorting? Yeah, this is a great question. And it's something that I've been doing this for a long time. And I, I feel I've got a good feel for the risk. And the risk is that the short is an open-ended liability. You are effect, you know, if you're long of something, you can only lose 100% of your money. Yes. A short can go up and up and up and up. Uh, as indeed we've seen in many cases that shares continue to perform well. Um, and as the, sh as the short position goes up in value, it becomes bigger in your portfolio. It becomes more of a problem. So you've got to be really careful about managing the position size when a short is going against you. Chris, thank you very much. Pleasure. For more information on our guide to shorting, please see fundcaliber.com.